Toy Cho, I'm founder of Fusion Wayang Kulit and today we are at this Visit Ipoh's uh, festival exhibiting our puppet. Okay. Uh, Wayang Kulit or Shadow Puppet is originated from India 2000 plus years ago and it spread through this whole Southeast Asia. So there are many many different countries have uh, Wayang Kulit in their own style. And for us we are doing of course the Malaysian style. And back in 2012, I actually start the initiative like trying to modernize to change the uh, the puppet of so let's say adding the new element into the shadow puppet in the sense like where we actually take this Japanese uh, characters or superheroes or Star Wars merging it into the art of shadow puppet that we call ourselves Fusion Wayang Kulit okay let me uh, take you through the, the puppet that we exhibit here so this two is from a master of the universe so we have He-Man and Skeletor so as you can see, he will be in a uh, muscular body and Skeletor will be holding his magical stuff and with a evil looking head and they are done, they wear sarong, you know, the very malicious stuff. And coming over here is the Japanese uh, uh, superhero, I can say. This is Ultraman, Ultraman Reboot, a Malaysian version of Ultraman. And this one is Kamen Rider, okay, uh, Kamen Rider 1. So these are the, the superhero in the 70s which I really really love. Okay. And then this is uh, Star Wars, Shadow Puppet so is only one, holding lightsaber. Okay. And then this is the Mandalorian holding the sniper rifle. So as you can see we when we do this we do it properly and each of the puppets is approved by my master puppeteer and uh, on the style or why why we do this. So we follow the principle of the shadow puppet properly and then we do it that way. It's not like, okay, I have this cool idea and uh, play around. So we do it the proper way. And uh, this, uh, I'm glad we do it that way because this thing can really bring us very far. Because, very simple thing, respect the art. The thing that I want to achieve is hopefully, every Malaysian will like and or accept Wayang Kulit. Because there is this thing that people think this is fading art or this is not proper or whatsoever thing that it is not. It's something very, very beautiful and very traditional and we, we are as I said we are 11 years in this journey and we are still counting and we have seen some good results you know but uh, we are not stopping so we will carry on doing it to let hopefully the whole and everyone in Malaysia understand and love this art. Shida from Tiny Treats. Um, basically, I'm the owner of the Tiny Treats and this is what I make. Um, this is our best seller, the Cake Bante Indulgent. And perhaps one day, you guys should come and try our best seller, chocolate chip cookies. Um, I'm based in Ipoh. Uh, we don't have a physical store, but then uh, we do uh, receive order from Instagram and also Facebook page. We are actually a few students from SMGK Poilam. We are here with an origami book. So we can be presenting about the topic of origami today. So what is origami? Origami is a Japanese art of folding paper to create different shapes and design. So as you can see right here, we have lots of different designs. For examples, a frog right here, a swan, and also different animals. Things over here. I actually have a short can over there, but we'll point that at you. So it combines creativity, problem solving and patience. So for example, this one over here takes a long time to make. So you need a lot of patience for it. So that's different types of origami. The most over ones being kirigami, action origami, web folding. Origami and kirigami is that origami involves purely folding. So there's no more a a a a other additional elements. Whereas kirigami, we actually cut pieces out or we paste them. So for example, this over here it is an example of kirigami additional elements. Wet folding is a technique that involves adding water to the paper to make it more moisture and easier to create different dynamic designs. We actually don't have an example right now of this four because we are a bit limited on manpower. But for modular origami, it's we combine small pieces together to make a big object. So, for this one over here. Lots of small pieces and we slowly pick them together to make a big swan. 
It's taking a lot of time to make. Round of applause for our boulder. <laughs> okay, so moving on to our materials. So can I have a free kit? So origami paper is well, it, it differs from our usual A4 paper in, in that it's a square. It comes in lots of different size. We have 2.5 cm times 2.5 cm, 25 times 25, and this one is a standard size. We don't have an example of washi, foil boy paper, or artisan paper. But color paper can also be used for origami. So for example, this part over here is made from color paper. We have a few techniques on origami. I won't elaborate much on this because we're gonna do a few examples of origami later. So on to a brief history of origami. Well origami is mostly you known for you know a Japanese term. It actually originates from China. So you know, since paper is invented from China. Even before the invention of paper, Chinese actually have, well, I guess you can call it a habit of folding things, making them more compact, and I guess the story evolves into becoming origami. When paper was first invented in China, uh, the production was limited, resources were limited, and there weren't a lot of available people to have. So, other than writing pieces, writing information on paper, the Chinese also opted to, you know, fold them with different shapes. So it gives it, you know, more meaning, more purpose in, well, the short span of life, since Limited. And after uh, the merchants and people were introduced paper to Japan, they started using it for ornamental purposes, for you know, festivals, carnivals, things like that. And it slowly became uh, all its different shapes that we know today. So, <clears throat> a few remarkable figures in origami is Naito Akimasha, John Smith, which is part of the British Origami Association, Akizo Yoshizawa, which invented the Yoshizawa Render System. So basically, it's a system where it gives a short introduction to how to you know, do origami. It gives instructions, very clear instructions, clear and precise instructions on you know, where to fold, what to look out for, and it actually helps in the development of origami a lot. So for tools, these tools, this two tools over here, are meant to help us when creating lines, making it more straight, more precise, and easier for us to fold. Workshops. We also sell our products. Um, we focus. We focus on uh, promoting the art of wagashi crafting. Besides that, we also host other classes. Upcoming, we have classes on fondant crafting, suitable for kids and so and also adults. Okay, hi. Saya Noor Aswa, Mutidaud, dari Padre Ikutera. Saya pelayan wanita tunggal Malaysia dan juga adik majlis pelayan Malaysia. Yang ni, saya kenalkan tiga ni kita uh, wow, wow Malaysia Iaitu wow jalan budi Wow bulan Dan juga wow kucing Ini kita ada bengkel lah Yang uh, kita ni so, Kita akan buat bengkel dengan Berusukan film gambar lah So nanti dia dah siap uh, Bukul dalam film gambar dan Dia buat balik Ok, nama saya Nur Fahamal Ziani Bin Abu Bakar uh, Tengah meraut untuk buat tulang tulang belakang tulang tulang, tulang belakang dengan ni inilah nama dia tulang belakang okey tulang tengah so, <coughs> ini belum siap ini buat apa buat bulan. bulan ini untuk tulang buat bulan okey ini tulang belum masih belum siap dia punya kepak ha sayap dia sayap, sayap dan ekor dia dengan ekor masih belum siap ini memang daripada tradisional lah ha, Daripada buluh Asal dia memang daripada buluh lah okay. Yang ni rangka uh, wow seri bulan okay. Wow seri bulan yang ni tu uh, wow negeri perak So wow negeri perak dia berusukan tiga warna sahaja Ini warna perak uh, Putih, hitam dan kuning Dia tak ada warna lain uh, Dia hanya tiga warna tu sahaja uh. So wow perak pun berusukan Islam Okey, wow perak dia Haa uh, 
Dia berbeza dengan ke Kelantan Sayap dia akan sama Sayap Kelantan dia ada lawi Dan dia punya bawah pun lain Ya, ha, Iaitu kalau wow Kelantan Bulan ada bentuk bulat tu yeah. tengah. Dia ada tengah-tengah ni Tengah-tengah ni dia akan mengusulkan Islam ha, Makna ha, semayang lah Semayang Islam ha, Lepas tu ha, Dia bermulat lebih kurang macam wow bulan Hanya wow Kelantan dia ada sayap Dia ada lawi Dia ada lawi itu wow Kelantan Wow Kelantan itu wow puyuh Wow Perak itu wow seri bulan 